What's up everybody, this is Karai Code, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys on how to root almost any Android device you have, whether it's a tablet or a phone. This is the best one touch method on how to root your phone. You don't need a computer and honestly this works really good and it's honestly the safest method possible so you don't have to worry about breaking your phone. Now the thing is, it works on almost any Android device, it doesn't work on every Android device so the phones like the uh, LG Optimus that I have, it works perfectly fine but the phones like the Galaxy S6, it doesn't seem to root so you guys uh, test it out and if it works, it works. If it doesn't root for you, it doesn't root. No harm done. It's not going to damage your phone. Or it's, you're not going to lose data and it works really well. So you guys might be thinking, what does rooting do? Rooting basically unlocks your phone device and you guys can install custom ROMs, remove bloatware and all that good stuff. And I'm also going to be showing you guys on how to unroot your phone. So if you root your phone and you don't, you don't like it or your phone seems to be slower for some whatever reason, I'm going to show you guys on how to unroot it also at the end of the video. So let's get started. Okay guys, so before we get started with this video, I'm going to show you guys that my phone is not rooted. So when I open up the Root Checker Basic app and I tap on Verify Root, you guys are going to see, sorry, root access is not properly installed on this device. Now let's go ahead and open up the other Root Checking app and I'm going to tap on Check. And you guys are going to see, root access, no access. Now you know my phone is not rooted. So the first step you guys are going to want to do is go ahead and open up your phone settings. Then you guys are going to go ahead and tap on general, scroll all the way down and tap on about phone. Once you guys got that done, scroll down and tap on software info. Then from here you're going to tap on the build number 5 to 7 times until you become a developer. It's going to say you are now a developer. Go back and now your developer options should be unlocked. You should be able to see it. Go ahead and tap on it. Then you guys are going to tap on OK. Now this is very important. Make sure you guys enable USB debugging, turn it on. Make sure there's a check mark and tap OK. It's very important you guys do that. Now from here, you guys are going to go ahead and make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on. You're connected to Wi-Fi. And you're going to go ahead and open up your web browser and go to a site called kingroot.net. Once you guys are here, you're going to scroll down and click on the green free download button. I like kingroot and download. Now if your phone blocks it, uh, make sure you guys allow it. There is no viruses. I promise you this is completely safe so you do not have to worry. Thousands of people do this daily. Alright, so go ahead and tap on settings if it asks you to check on the unknown sources. Basically, when you turn on unknown sources, it's going to allow third-party apps like Kingroot to be installed. So make sure unknown sources is turned on. Now, go ahead and tap on next. Next and install. And let Kingroot download and install. Now, once it's done, you guys are just going to go ahead and uh, click on done and open when it's finished. Alright, click on open. Now, you guys are going to go ahead and just swipe up swipe up again and now what you guys are going to do is go ahead and tap on try it if your phone works for this uh, if king root works on your phone it's going to say root strategy available just try it now if it doesn't work it's going to say root strategy is unavailable mine says root strategy is available so i'm going to tap on try to root and now king root is going to be rooting my phone now make sure you guys are connected to your internet and if your phone restarts, it's completely normal. If your tablet or phone restarts, do not panic. Just wait it out, and I'll be right back when it's finished. Alright, so now I'm done. Root is obtained, and as you guys can see, when I tap on uninstall tool from here, I can go ahead and uh, remove bloatware. I have all these Metro apps that are BS. I can go ahead and delete them if I wanted to. You can even purify and uh, allow your phone to be cleaned. So let's go ahead and open up the Root Checker Basic app. And when I tap on Verify Root, you guys are going to see... It's going to say, let me tap on allow. It's going to say, congratulations, root access is properly installed on this device. Now let's open up the other root checking app. And when I tap on check, it's going to say, let me tap allow. Root access, access granted. And there you go, that's it. Now, if you guys want to uninstall King Root, go ahead and open it up. On the top right corner, tap that. Tap on general settings and tap on uninstall King Root. From here, tap continue. Make sure you uncheck the backup root and tap OK. And there you go. It's going to uh, uninstall King Root just as if you never even rooted your phone in the first place. So let's go ahead and open up the Root Checker Basic again. And as you guys can see, when I tap on Verify Root, there's no root access. And there you go. That's how you guys root your phone or tablet. And as you guys see, I even unrooted my phone at the end of the video and it worked out great. And that's basically all you guys got to do. If you haven't already, make sure you guys drop a like below if this tutorial really helped you out. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel for more future content. And until then, I'll see y'all next time.